It's a bright, sunny Saturday afternoon in West Haven, Connecticut, here at Charger Gymnasium, the home of the University of New Haven. It's a brisk business day inside as we get ready for the Northeast 10 Conference Men's Basketball Championship game. The game, Merrimack in the home in the Road Blues. New Haven in the home whites. Chargers have it first. Rolling down the drive to Kane. Now Roland corner three in the air, and the Chargers have their first lead. Bolter, quick catch and shoot corner three, rattles around, gets the shooter's bounce. Left elbow, Bailey, surrounded by defenders. Roland hits another three. Bailey had 21, Kane had 15 and eight last time. Roland again, make it four. Packed house on a Saturday afternoon, warming up outside today too. Hayes and to the cup. warming up. There you go, first points for Javaris Hayes. Thus far, a quick moving first half, 7.40 to go. Both teams have enjoyed leads. And small bursts of momentum. Bailey turnaround at the foul line is good and he's on the board. Crawford can't finish the drive. Here comes Bailey, three on two for the Chargers. Bailey zero step for two. 12-4 run for the Chargers has given them this three point lead. Larcher defending, forces a miss, Joiner's second chance is good, and one. Does that kind of dirty work, those are the, the glue players that, that can produce numbers and a great backdoor cut, Hayes to Lord to give Merrimack the lead. So after a blazing start, the two teams settle in, the defenses dominate, and Merrimack leads it 24-22 at halftime. And of course we mentioned that Merrimack has won too many 10 titles in their history, last time though, 19 years ago. They also won in 1992. None of these kids were even born yet. I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> <laughs> Backdoor cut. It's Crawford for two. You can tell results go in other leagues. Inside, Larcher for two. First bench points of the game for either team. Trio of substitutions getting ready to come in for Merrimack, but I wonder if they give up points here as Bailey goes to the bucket for two. Well, here's the run, 7-0 for the Chargers. If you look who's coming in, you got Joyner. Look. Bolter ends the run with a corner three, and now the timeout from Gallo. Remember, it was 24-22 at halftime, so 50 might be asking for a lot. Bolter from way out hits the three. A bomb for Ryan Bolter. His fourth of the game, and the Warriors now on a 12-2 run. But yeah, Merrimack doing a great job of rebounding, not letting New Haven get any opportunities. Bolter knocks home his fifth three of the game. Kane skips it across to the corner. Bailey for three, gets it right back. Shot clock in single digits though. Hayes in the lane, charger block, score it and one. A huge call as Hayes gets the deuce and the foul. Good zone here, good zone defense by Merrimack. Recovery is exceptional lane and the post rejected by Joyner. Inside again, it's Felizor for the cleanup. And get a little closer, possibly even tie it. Felizor, corner deuce is good. He's been huge in this second half. And that's veteran leadership there. He, know, he knew he didn't need the three. Could possibly have another possession if they don't get an offensive rebound. Crawford to the basket, misses the shot. Chargers with the ball. And an eight second difference between the shot and game clocks. Kane inside the spin. Rebounded by Hayes. Where big players make big shots. Let's see if Hayes can sink two here. He misses. Will New Haven hold for one? No timeout taken by Hotelling. I don't think they will. I think they want to maybe, you know. And, and a steal by Bolter. Lane looking in the corner for Felizor. But usually it's kind of a give and go. And down goes and look to who Felizor. It is. Back to Roland. On the corner, the pass intended for Kane, stolen by Lord. And Kane has to give the foul. And Lord nails two free throws. And that should do it. That shot's off the mark. And the final score, the Merrimack Warriors are your Northeast 10 Conference champion, 51-46. Celebrations going on for Merrimack, their first Northeast 10 title since the year 2000. I'm here with head coach Joe Gallo. Coach, congrats on the win. Thank you, appreciate it. That was, uh, it was a rock fight is what that was. Um, but we, we talked earlier, right? We talked around 
um, 10.30 this morning, and, and Steve asked me my thoughts, and um, we kind of knew it was going to be a grounded out type of game, right? These guys, they fight, they claw, they defend, they make you work for everything. They're, they're patient on offense. Um, so we knew we would have to play a full 40 and, and figure out a way to get some stops down the stretch. Ryan Bolter, the most outstanding player of this game. He was quiet in the first half. Second half came alive, the senior. What has he done for you this year that, that has put him above the rest? You know what? He, he's been great. I, I think people would think Ryan is like a one-trick pony and he only makes threes. He, he never breaks down in our zone. Um, he came up with a big rebound late, made big free throws, um, and he's just an everyday guy. He's a, a senior who, you know, he shows up every day to work, and, and he deserves this. And, and I wouldn't, even in the first half, he got more looks than he's gotten in about a month. The ball was just going halfway down and out. So uh, we talked at halftime, and we, we thought we were getting better shots than, than they were. And we said if that trend continues, then the ball's going to start going in. So. Coach, congratulations on the NE10 championship, and good luck in the NCAA tournament. Thank you. Appreciate it. And Merrimack, for the second time in their history, winning the Northeast, uh, pardon me, the third time in their history, winning the Northeast 10 title. 17 points, a little cold towards the first half. What did you, going into the second half, what was your goals for the end of the game? Uh, you know, defense. I mean, our defense is what won, won us the game tonight. Uh, you know, coach writes up a thing on the top of the uh, whiteboard, says defend no matter what, and we did that tonight. And, you know, everyone just stayed in, uh, locked in mentally, and it was a great team effort today, and we're glad we got uh, our NA10 champs now. Defense leads to offense. The big steal at the end secured it. Now, coming to today's game, you had one road win. Now, another road win in New Haven. Now, going to the NCAA tournament, which on the road you guys play so well. What do you what do you what do you think about playing on the road? Uh, I mean, we love playing on the road. Uh, you know, even though we love playing at home more, the crowd gives us energy. But you know, we uh, we come in in any building and we always are locked in mentally. And um, you know, it doesn't matter where we play. We just have to be focused. And luckily, we did that today and got a huge one. Congrats on the win, and congrats on being the most outstanding player. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good afternoon from West Haven, Connecticut, where the Merrimack Warriors are the NE10 champions.